when you get too wrapped up on the the aesthetics of it all and like how how it looks instead of how it's going to benefit the customer you lose sales working all day ain't got time to waste i got art to make i got love to create okay so right now i have shopify up on my screen i'm trying to work on the website even though i don't have a donate domain right now a domain is like a website so say your, your business is called casey's cakes your domain name will be www.caseyscakes.com and because i got rid of my business i did not renew my domain name so right now i don't have a domain name and when i went to search up my old domain name it was fifteen hundred dollars to renew and that's quite of an investment when um i have to think about other things in my business so the way around that for me is going to be just getting a cheaper domain name. So it may not be my original do domain name, but it's going to be something very close to it. So my customers, my old customers will kind of, they probably won't see the difference or see much of a difference. And will still be able to trust like that I'm the original thing. But for right now, I'm on Shopify.com. Let me just show you. Usually your host would be like Shopify or Wix.com or GoDaddy. You can have several different domain um, platforms, but I love Shopify because it's really good when it comes to like back end stuff. And this is like the back end. So right now I'm looking at one of my products, which is called the Sweet Strawberry Lip Renewal Lip Scrub, right? Before it was called Sweet Strawberry Lip Scrub, but I want to highlight the actual benefits in the name. If you've never heard of Ivy Rose Beauty, if you're just like searching Google and like want something to renew your lips and want it to look juicy again, you're like, okay, I'm seeing different names and different lip scrubs, but this name is gravitating towards me because it says renewal and I want my lips to be renewed. It's like dry, it's lifeless, it's, it's gritty, it's bumpy, it's like discolored. I want to renew my lips. So if I see it and I'm in need of that, I might put pick on this lip scrub because it looks good the benefits look good and first and foremost the name you know catches my eye so that's what I was thinking about when I was picking the name and when it comes to the product description you really have to be thoughtful and intentional on what you write in this part and this is usually called copyright and copyright is basically what catches the eye of the customer outside of like the media and the pictures and things that are visual, like the words. What are the benefits of this person using this product? And this is where you can sell the customer. Like, okay, boom. My product has jojoba seed oil. It's packed with nutrient rich vitamin E and B. This ultimate skin conditioner calms and soothes, leaving your lips get, lips feeling rejuvenated. So like, mm. even if I don't know what jojoba seed oil is, I give an explanation of the benefits of this specific ingredient. So it's like, it's informing the customer while persuading them to buy it. So it's like, okay. Sometimes the customer doesn't know what they need until like you lay it out for them. So this is another way to just sell the customer and just spell out all the benefits, all the ingredients and how it can help the customer get to their ideal goal. When it comes to the lip scrub, I'm talking to people who have dry, chapped lips, discolored lips and with its ingredients, with its texture and all the things that make this product what it is, it's going to help this person achieves soft, smooth, vibrant, luscious lips. I have to like spell that out in my product description so they can understand it. Okay, so what it does, I talk about that. I give additional tips. I even say how to use it. Scoop, apply, gently rinse, or gently scrub, rinse, follow with Lux Lip Conditioner. Okay, I'm glad we even caught this live because the Lux Lip Conditioner was one of the original original names of a lip conditioner that i have so obviously we're not calling it lux lip conditioner anymore we're changing the name up even though i do like the name of lux lip conditioner it doesn't really scream what the benefits are and in this go around i want the benefits to be the highlight so for the verbiage on the site 
I want to appeal to people who have never heard to, heard of Ivy Rose Beauty. I want, when they go on this site, I'm just looking for a lip scrub that's going to get the job done. I don't care about your what you want your brand to look like. The customer doesn't care about, oh, if you want your brand to be a luxury brand or if you want your brand to be urban and you know different and unique they don't care about your branding and your what you see your business to be they just care about how can your product solve my problem and i noticed that sometimes like when you get too wrapped up on the the aesthetics of it all and like how it looks instead of how it's going to benefit the customer you lose sales and you lose the possibility of converting someone who doesn't know your brand to a possible customer one day because you're not talking to their problem with everything you do especially when it's in written form on your site you have to talk to the problem not talk to the aesthetics of your brand talk to the problem when that customer clicks on that button and clicks on that product i want all the words to be like this is why you need this product this is what like, i want to be shouting it out to them so they have more of a chance to click add to bag and then check out okay i don't want to give them any reason to second guess why this product isn't for them so that was a lot but i'm glad we saw that in real time i'm going to change that i'm actually going to just take that line out because i don't know oh shoot and that's the weird thing about this freaking formatting stuff we're just going to delete that delete. okay boom so we're taking that line out once I have an actual name for the lip conditioner, I might go back in and add that step. But for right now, we're taking it all out because it doesn't align with what we're doing right now. Okay, I also talk about how often to use the product and what it's formulated without. Da -da -da -da. A lot of these are details that you may or may not need to include. Because again, people have a short attention span and sometimes like it's not necessary because they're not going to read it. But... There are customers who are super like, they're not impulsive shoppers. They want to know like everything this, this, this product is formulated with, everything, every benefit, every way to use the product. Like, they want every freaking detail. So I made sure to include that just for the people who are super thorough when it comes to shopping. And I appreciate that because it also gives me a certain responsibility to talk to every customer. The customer that's super impulsive and doesn't re really read things and the, and the customer who is super thorough with their shopping. I appreciate both customers. And then again with Ivy Rose Beauty this time around, I'm super, super intentional about the ingredients and making sure that the customers know that I'm not just any old regular beauty brand that's like putting any random ingredient inside of the product just because it may be cheaper on the back end. I'm making sure that this is as holistic as possible, that your health and your wellness is at the top of mind when I'm creating these products and when I'm just thinking about the brand overall. So even though my products were never like toxic, I just know like at the start of it, I was using products that would need like glues and things like that, that don't have the best ingredients in it. So like this time around, it's like, okay, these products are super, super simple. It's not going to give you rashes. It's not going to, you know, contribute to any health ailments along the line. Like, it's super intentional. And I want, when they're reading the these product descriptions, that they can tell. And then you want to know the size and number of items that it's included. Especially if you have, like, duos or package bundle deals. You need to let them know that this product here is just one item not two items like the other products you got to spell that out okay and then i just found one of these old pictures that i had um and you see the size of this we're gonna go into that in another video but this is way too big and it's gonna slow down my site i found it in one of my files so i just put it up here just to test it out and then i don't know the price i want to just say a hundred dollars even though this is not a hundred dollars but i'm just putting anything there to fill it this is how it's gonna appear on my search engine like say you google sweet strawberry lip renewal scrub this is how it's gonna pop up on google and then i'm gonna save it and i'm gonna show you how it's gonna show on the site so like i said i don't have a domain name so this is how it looks just as welcome to our store i'm just practicing on this one product it says sweet strawberry lip renewal scrub it's sold out for right now i need to where the heck is the freaking 
pricing inventory track quantity okay whatever we're just gonna put that track so continue selling when out of stock is just saying that even if on your side there's no inventory available you can still like get sales if somebody's on your site and checks out but you gotta just make sure that you have the inventory by time it's time to ship to them so save and then we're gonna preview again Doo -doo -doo. So now you see I can add two, three, four, five, no matter, it doesn't matter how many I have in here, I can add it. And then you can just see all of our products. I don't know why this is like that, but again, you have to keep going back into this part of the description part and like making little changes to that. And that's a tedious thing, but that's what comes with it. Like it's the smallest things that take a lot of effort, but you just got to do it so that it doesn't look weird on your site. And then you also have to think about how it appears on the mobile. In this day and age, a lot of people shop on your phone. So you're not like customizing your site solely for the website. You're also customizing your site for mobile. Usually mobile is priority because I'm at, just think about yourself. When you're looking online, when you're scrolling, you're on your phone usually, right? So if I go to a site and I'm trying to get a, a lip gloss, I'm not usually on my computer scrolling, I'm on my phone. So I just to make sure it's as mobile friendly on the phone as on the desktop. So like it doesn't cause me to want to click off the site. Because if it's not mobile friendly and it's confusing or it's like in a weird format, I'm not going to even spend my time viewing it. So this is how the lip scrub looks on the site. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. But then you click this over here, mobile. And this is how it will look on your mobile phone. And again, you see how we talked about those little bullets? That looks weird and it's taking up unnecessary space. So while you're on the back end, you'll just take those little bullets out. And then you like have multiple pictures here. And if I want to zoom in, this is how it will look. But again, that you don't want to do that while you're on your mobile phone so I will probably choose a different picture and then make sure it's size proportional to the phone but the whole point of this is just to get a glimpse of the back end and how our process of starting a new website is gonna be super tedious super super tedious but I think it'll give a good insight on how it looks when you're doing it all by yourself and when you're you know relaunching and in this case I don't have an old site to go to. I have to start fresh. I feel like this is a learning lesson and I think it's a way for me to just, you know, work through the Shopify site again or the Shopify platform because when I'm going through Shopify right now, it's a lot of new sections, a lot of new places that I can like add things and make it look more and more professional. It's a lot of things that they didn't have when I was on Shopify like a year ago. So I'm excited. I know the final product is gonna be worth it and I want my customers, I want them to trust that they're working with a reputable site. I want it to be respected so I'm gonna put as much energy as I possibly can into the site as I did so many times before. And I know this video was probably all over the place because I just turned on the camera. We're gonna get our footing together. This is just, building stuff is never pretty and I don't want to like put too much thought into my setup and how I look and the point is we're trying to relaunch this brand, right? And who cares how I look? Who cares if I got nail polish remover and water and junk on my bed? Nobody cares about that. We trying to solve a problem and the problem is we launched a beauty brand we closed it way too early and now we're trying to relaunch it because we're onto something good and we can help our customers and we're not going to give up that easy so we're going to help ourselves in order to help other people right are you with me i hope you're with me so if you have a business that you closed way too early because you just got doubtful or you got too up in your head for whatever reason and you want somebody to, to look to to get some ideas or walk you through some steps that you are not too clear of i'm here okay we're gonna get through this together and by the time we're finished this process we'll have thriving businesses with great product great websites community everything we need to help our customers and fulfill a goal of ours which is a successful 
successful cash flowing business right that's the goal and that's what we're gonna do anyways my name is katrina nicole ivy this is a channel where we learn create and most importantly evolve welcome to like welcome to the relaunch it's a series where i show you the good bad and ugly of relaunching my business and giving you some tools on how you can relaunch yours as well so if you're interested stay tuned to this crazy long journey and um yeah bye